Being Overweight and Obesity in Children Excess weight and obesity in children is associated with a variety of medical conditions, including high blood pressure, insulin resistance, inflammation, depression, and lower academic achievement. Being overweight has also been linked to impaired brain functioning, which includes deficits in executive functioning, working memory, mental flexibility, and decision making. Children who ate more saturated fats performed worse on relational memory tasks, while eating a diet high in omega-3 fatty acids promoted relational memory skills. Using animal studies, researchers found that large amounts of processed sugars and saturated fat weaken the blood-brain barrier, especially in the hippocampus. This can make the brain more vulnerable to harmful substances that can impair its functioning. Another important executive functioning skill is controlling impulses and delaying gratification. Children who are overweight show less inhibitory control than normal weight children, which may make it more difficult for them to avoid unhealthy foods. Overall, being overweight as a child increases the risk for cognitive decline as one ages. The current measurement for determining excess weight is the Body Mass Index, BMI, which expresses the relationship of height to weight. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, CDC, children whose BMI is at or above the 85th percentile for their age are considered overweight, while children who are at or above the 95th percentile are considered obese. In 2011-2012, approximately 8.4% of 2 to 5 year olds were considered overweight or obese, and 17.7% .7 of 6 to 11 year olds were considered overweight or obese. Obesity Rates for Children About 16 to 33% of American children are obese. This is defined as being at least 20% over their ideal weight. The percentage of obesity in school-aged children has increased substantially since the 1960s and has in fact doubled since the 1980s. This is true in part because of the introduction of a steady diet of television and other sedentary activities. In addition, we've come to emphasize high-fat, fast foods as a culture. Pizza, hamburgers, chicken nuggets, and Lunchables with soda have replaced more nutritious food as staples. The decreased participation in school physical education and youth sports is just one of many factors that has led to an increase in children being overweight or obese. Being overweight can be a lifelong struggle. A growing concern is the lack of recognition from parents that children are overweight or obese. David Katz refers to this as obliv obesity. In fact, researchers found that parents in the United Kingdom only recognized their children as obese when they were above the 99th percentile, while the official cutoff for obesity is at the 85th percentile. In another study, researchers surveyed 439 parents and found that 75% of parents of overweight children said the child had a normal weight and 50% of parents of obese children said the child had a normal weight. For these parents, overweight was considered normal and obesity was considered normal or a little heavy. A third study reported on several studies from the United Kingdom, Australia, Italy, and the United States. And in all locations, parents were more likely to misperceive their children's weight. As the average weight of children rises, what parents consider normal also rises. If parents cannot identify if their children are overweight, they may not be able to intervene and assist their children with proper weight management. An added concern is that the children themselves are not accurately identifying if they are overweight. In the United States sample of 8 to 15 year olds, more than 80% of overweight boys and 70% of overweight girls misperceived their weight as normal. Also noted was that as the socioeconomic status of the children rose, 
the frequency of these misconceptions decreased. It appeared that families with more resources were more conscious of what defines a healthy weight. Results of Childhood Obesity Children who are overweight tend to be rejected, ridiculed, teased, and bullied by others. This can certainly be damaging to their self-image and popularity. In addition, obese children run the risk of suffering orthopedic problems such as knee injuries, and they have an increased risk of heart disease and stroke in adulthood. It is hard for a child who is obese to become a non-obese adult. In addition, the number of cases of pediatric diabetes has risen dramatically in recent years. Behavioral interventions, including training children to overcome impulsive behavior, are being researched to help overweight children. Practicing inhibition has been shown to strengthen the ability to resist unhealthy foods. Parents can help their overweight children the best when they are warm and supportive without using shame or guilt. They can also act like the child's frontal lobe until it is developed by helping them make correct food choices and praising their efforts. Research also shows that exercise, especially aerobic exercise, can help improve cognitive functioning in overweight children. Parents should take caution against emphasizing diet alone to avoid the development of any obsession about dieting that can lead to eating disorders. Instead, increasing a child's activity level is most helpful. Dieting is not really the answer. If you diet, your basal metabolic rate tends to decrease, thereby making the body burn even fewer calories in order to maintain the weight. Increased activity is much more effective in lowering the weight and improving the child's health and psychological well-being. Exercise reduces stress, and being an overweight child subjected to the ridicule of others can certainly be stressful. Parents should take caution against emphasizing diet alone to avoid the development of an obsession about dieting that can lead to eating disorders as teens. Again, helping children to make healthy food choices and increasing physical activity will help prevent childhood obesity.